Ran the uh, Harvest Hobble route the other day. Oh yeah. But in reverse. Okay. Right. It is. <laughs> Surprisingly. But it's nicer going from Nettleton to Ludford along the Viking Way than the other way around. Views are great. Yeah. That's a lovely event. I might try and squeeze that in again at some point. Yeah. Can't this year. What you got on this year? Um, hold on, I've got one at uh, we're Mill Way next, well, next weekend. Okay, yeah, I'm away in Staffordshire. Our club. Oh, and then, that's a nice day. It is like that one. I did it last year. Pretty much enjoyed it. Usually quite warm. Yeah. So we've got that Windermere in the Kent Road runner this month. Uh huh. Uh, Liverpool and what, Liverpool, Marathon? Liverpool Marathon. Yeah. And the, the Giant's Head. Oh, yeah, is that Dorset. Dorset. Yeah. How far is that? That's a marathon. That sounds good. It does actually. It's a, it's a good weekend by all accounts. You go down there Friday night, the race yeah. is on the Saturday. So you get Friday night, they have a bit of a party. Saturday, they have a lot of a party. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah, I'm doing the Duke Reef. Okay. Yeah. I've seen that. Why do I know that? 10, 30 and a 40. Yeah. I'm gonna go up the 40. Oh, is it Nottinghamshire? Yeah, Sherwood yeah, Forest that's and Cobble Farm. That's it. That should be cracking. I knew I'd looked at it. I think I'd looked at the 30. Yeah. Because I want to get that a bit longer. No, I think it's uh, way marked. Okay. Makes it a bit easier. Yeah. As long as you don't miss your work. Well, that's it. <laughs> I put in for a whole marathon a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. It's so close. Yeah, it's tough not it to. Is, uh, it's a decent course. I like the finish along the river yeah. around the docks. I think that might be the one that I race this year. Yeah. It'll be quite tough. Oh yeah, I'm sure it will. It'll be quite hell at eight, quite 18 miles. Yeah. But I've got a... Oh boy, I was going to say an enforced. I don't do an awful lot in August, running wise. No. So I'm going to have. Oh, we go to Smuggler's Trot. Yeah. That's fantastic. I'm doing something uh, uh -huh. right at the beginning of August. Something over in in Derbyshire. Not the high peak, is it? I don't think high so. Peak 40. No, no, no. It's only a twenty. Okay. It's a twenty-six. Yeah. Just a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> One of our lads, you probably know, Mike Wells. I know Mike. Yeah. He's just done the uh, Manchester sub yeah. three. Did really, really well. Looked really good as well. Six days later, he's up Highland Fling, 53 miles. Shocking. Two hours 20, uh, 10 hours 20. He's amazing, isn't he? Is. And all of that in a tutu. <laughs> Must be the tutu. I can only presume, so I'm going to try and get one. Considering he couldn't run four years ago. Really? It shows what I could do if I really tried to concentrate on yeah. it, I suppose. Yeah. And being lucky with injury. Of yeah. But he's, what I can't believe is how he's managed to put together the run streak he's done. He's, must be coming up 1300 days, you know, it's a yeah. consecutive run. And often he runs twice a day. He runs. On a Tuesday, he runs lunchtime with his work colleagues in Nottingham, yeah. off in the 10k. Then they'll come over to Caster because his lass is in Raisin. See how rush he's here tonight. And uh, they'll come to the club run. That's incredible. And if it's it? a session, he'll work really hard on it. Yeah. And that's why he's getting what he deserves, yeah, isn't it, really? So you get what you deserve. Yeah, you look at Ryan. Page and uh, Nick Martin. Nick's coming on really well. He is, well. he's doing really well. Brilliant. It'll be interesting again this year. And looking at those 5Ks on the prom, the results there. Tony Whiteman's going to have to work, keep working, isn't he? I think so. I don't think he can just turn up and do them now. He's got uh, a bit of competition. 
And of course our park run and record's there to go if, uh, if Tony's losing his luster. What sort of numbers are you getting? We lose quite a lot of our people to it each week. Yeah, well you have a fantastic contingent out on a Saturday to, to park run. About 130 now. Yeah, that's very good. We've just topped the the 100 average for the since it started oh, this week, so it's very good. And it's, it's only going to build over the summer. Yeah, because you'll get, you get holiday makers. Yes. Once it's established, I people see. start looking once you're within the fold, which I'm not. But I know Mike Wells is doing, when we're away in Staffordshire, our Saturday morning run starts at 10. Yeah. He's going off somewhere locally, do a park run at 9 o'clock. <laughs> Catches up oh, well. as he will. <laughs> he will, yeah. <laughs> no, he's incredible. It's like I had three years of being pretty keen in my late forties. Yeah, I did three, three sub threes, successive years. But it does take a lot out of you mentally, doesn't it? Yes. It to that intensity. It does, it does. And that was my problem. I got to 36. I was no longer competitive within the club at 36. Yeah. Uh, and I thought, well, there's no point. I'm not going to be competitive on any major scale. If I'm not competing within the club, I'm just going to run long, get quantity in, yeah. enjoy it, and well, tick off a milestone. And then next year, I've reached my milestone, I'll be 40, so I can then start training properly again yeah. and competing a bit. Yeah, yeah, always, that does help. Getting I've ticked over to 40, uh, to 60 uh, in August. Yeah. But, uh, so I've, I've won Chester now 60. That's good. Rise and uh, Stanford 30k. Yeah. Which is more pleasing than Chester, really, because it's a real good standard. Isn't it? It's a, it is, it's a, good, it's a lovely event as well. I it love Stanford. Lovely, yeah, I do. Tough, but it's great. Yeah, man. I should be back there eventually. And uh, you know, I was hoping to go to hole 20 and do likewise, but I've got this funny chesty thing, Ooh. you know, that hung around for six weeks. Yes. So I decided not to do it, which did help my recovery. Uh, and I had been thinking, oh, North Link Tar 131. I ran that a couple of years ago. But if I run 131, chance of the prize. Yeah. But. Yeah, 134. I think I'm lucky. Still a decent time. Lose the edge. Isn't it? Lose the edge. Yes. Yeah, I did 127 at North Links after I trained. I trained for good for age for Brighton. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't that the conditions were wrong on the day, and I blew up, and I'd been ill the week before. Yeah. But I still had that that edge, as it were. So I could. I turned up two weeks later to North Links with a real grudge. Yeah, I, re time. I really wanted to get something out of Need. a winter of training. Yeah. And I absolutely wellied it. And yeah, 127. Yeah. But in the end, I trained for 310. I didn't get it, but if I had, that was the year they put it down to 305 anyway. Yeah. So I'd been, yeah. In fairness, I'd have been even more gutted. <laughs> What did you get in the end? 340. Yeah, so that was a big blow up. It was a big blow up. It's my best walking. Same weekend as well, don't I, boys? Boys, crash it. 52 teams this year. Three days, six legs. About 15,000 feet of flight. Nice. About 50 miles. We got two super fast guys. So, 235 marathon men. Yeah. And then a couple of other guys. It's a little bit of a little bit of a Not allowed to run at all. 
we're just having that endurance on the legs. Yeah. Pile up these hills for an hour at a time going up. It's a bastard. Hardest thing I do. We walk on average. Our average pace is even all the time here. Four miles an hour. Wow. That's good yeah. going. It is. It's and that's for three days. I know I say, I'm never going to do it. But, because we keep winning. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you have to defend, don't you? Yeah. For the last two years we've been in South Snow, don't you? Which is lovely. And the mountains are a little, they're still high, you know. Yeah. About 3,000, but uh, a bit more forgiving. A bit more forgiving, not so lucky. Alright, going up, but coming off. Sue comes in support as a driver, and that's another lad comes over as a driver. And uh, we stay in the cottage. Three of them are vegetarians, so it's a lot easier that way. Yeah. But I'm trying to eat in pots. It's amazing how fast you can come off. As long as you've got a good grip. Yeah. Somebody was telling me they have brought in a new event this early summer at Kettle. Okay. There used to be one. Well, Canter. It died about seven or eight years ago. But it's a similar, similar one. It's 23 miles, I think, yeah. with a shorter option. Okay. It's really on the LDWA side. It's like a, such a lovely area to be in. There. on the audio as well. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I can remove the sound. I can take the sound off. I don't think people are going to listen to me. <laughs> if we should have been giving a running commentary on the terrain. That would have been ideal, wouldn't it? How to run it. Bit of guided touring, yeah. yeah. On a downhill down now. Hill. Steady up the first bit to the salt bin, start pushing a little, and as it evens up, get your pace up to come off the top down the hill. Go off the top, cruise down the hill, to the bottom. Hit, hit, hit the bend, no, nice little roll here. I'm hard to do a lot of damage. Keep something, but my heart break. Is that a car? Sounds like it. Yeah. You go first. Cheers, Ryan. I've seen mine. I went up to the Mount of Hobble in March. Oh, yeah. That's 30 odd, isn't it? 30, yeah. Oh, 